Hmm. Now, I wonder what game should I actually play. Monsters Inc. Scare Island, huh? Hmm. Seems interesting. Get in there. From the creators of Toy Story. Since the very first bedtime, all around the world, children have known that once their mothers and fathers tuck them in and shut off the light, that there are monsters hiding in their closets, waiting to emerge. What they don't know is, it's nothing personal. It's just their job. Whoa! Oh. There's nobody here. Huh? There's, there's no kid. There's supposed right, to be a kid. There's no kid to scare. Don't panic. I'm panicking because there's a total lack of kid here. Let's just check the schedule. It's very embarrassing. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Nine o'clock. Yep, nine o'clock. Boys' bedroom? Boys' bedroom. Out of Magnolia? <sighs> Magnolia? Give me that. It's Mongolia. Mike, does this look like Mongolia to you? Would, would you listen to this? Blame it on the little guy. How original. He must have read the schedule wrong with his one eye. Okay, I'm going to go back to the break room before all the donuts are gone. You big throw rug? Oh, nice doggy. <laughs> nice big doggy. Sully, Sully, open the door. Of course, that movie's already been out for a lot of years ago. But what is up, everybody? My name is Drew and Dids here, and welcome to Monster Sink Scare Island for the PlayStation 2. Now, I used to have this game back in, back in the day. The nostalgia really kicked me in the face with this game. I really had a good time playing this game back then, when I was young. So, why not I just come back and play this again on the PlayStation 2? So, I want to bring my nostalgia back. Because why not? So, start a new game. This is it, buddy! The big time! get through this, you and I could be the best screen-producing team Monstropolis has ever seen. I can't believe we were hand-picked by Waternoose himself to train at the Monsters Incorporated private facility. I can't do this. I'm too nervous. And you building up the situation like this is not helping. Relax, Mikey. Remember what happened on our first day of college. Please, don't remind me. Yeah, okay. But I don't want to deal with another mess like that. It took them a whole semester to rebuild the dorm. Didn't I say not to remind me? Okay, 
you're right. It's no big deal. It's only one of the most respected companies in all of Monstropolis. No problem. It's not like we're on the verge of a screen shortage or anything. We'll be fine. Oh, he, he, well, I don't remember seeing uh, Oh, no. We're not on the list. We are not on the list, Sully. How can this be? You filled out all the paperwork. Granny, it is extremely confusing, but come on. Oh, boy. What am I going to tell my mother? She'll be absolutely perfect. Oh, here we go. Sullivan, James P. And Mike Wazowski. You, too, have been enlisted in this training course because of your potential to become a top scare producing team. While you are here, the two of you will work together to complete a total of 15 trials. That's right, 15 trials. If you can complete them all successfully, you will earn yourself a spot on the scare floor. Okay? Good. Please proceed to the elevator directly behind the help desk. Any questions, come see me. Welcome. Okay, so... You can choose either Sully or Mike. So, uh, I'm just going to play as Sully. Hey, hey, I'm the monster! Bet you are. Alright, so the orientation. So this is basically like a tutorial. And we're going to be... Well, this is going to be all told to us by Rods. Welcome to the Monster Orientation. Here you will learn all you need to know to become a top scarer at Monsters Incorporated. We will begin with the basics. Jumping. In front of you are three obstacles. Jump over them using the X button and proceed through the door at the end of the hall. Good luck, you'll need it. It's obvious. Great, you made it. So X is the jump. And square is to attack. Triangle is to view, view your inventory. Now for the double jump and ledge grab. In front of you is a platform that is too high to reach using the normal jump. To get on top of it, press the X button to jump. Then while in midair, press the X button again to perform a double jump. Think you can handle that? Yes. This next ledge is too high, even for the double jump. Perform the double jump to grab the ledge and pull yourself up. So 
well. To help you through training, we have provided some items for you to collect. This is a bag of calories. If you have taken damage from an enemy, the bag of calories will fill your health meter by one point. Just walk into it to pick it up. So, you do have health in this game. This is an extra try token. Picking it up will give you another try. Walk into it to pick it up, then proceed through the door at the end of the corridor. Yeah, this is an extra try token, that's what Ross said. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Each monster has a unique pounce. To perform it, press the X button to jump, and while in midair, press the square button. This move is useful for eliminating pesky toys, but it's also good for breaking steel reinforced crates. Break all five crates to proceed to the next part of the orientation. Bam! It's like Crash Manico doing the belly flop attack. Primordial Ooze. It is a very important part of your training. Collecting it will increase the power of your fright meter and make your scares more powerful. As you collect more Primordial Ooze, the level of your fright meter will increase. Collect all ten cans of Primordial Ooze and proceed to the next room. Alright, collecting the primordial ooze. On the, the bottom left corner of the screen is a fright meter. It's important. Fantastic. Alright, you heard that? You heard that sound? That means I filled one division of the meter. In front of you is a nerve. Our substitute robot for children here on Scare Island and the most important part of your training. In order to graduate, you will be asked to find and scare nerves throughout the island. To do so, get close to the nerve and press the circle button. Once you are in scare mode, repeatedly press the circle button to charge up your scare. When you hear the siren and see the flashing light on top of the nerve's head turn yellow, quickly press the X button to perform a finishing scare. Give it a try and proceed to the next room. Alright, so this is a nerve. And look at it. It's bright dancing. This is what you do, just repeatedly press buttons. As you saw that flashing light, or when you hear the siren, and a flashing light on the nerve's head, on the top of the nerve's head, that's where you need to do a finishing scare to finish the nerve off. So it's like it just got a heart attack. Fantastic. Yeah, it sure is. Additional button presses will be required on green, yellow, orange, and red nerves. You're doing really well. Collecting primordial ooze is an important part of scaring because it raises the level of your fright meter. As you can see, the fright meter is divided into five sections. Blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. These colors match the colors of the nerves throughout Scare Island. Now this is important. In order to scare a nerve, you must have the matching color of your fright meter full. Am I clear? 
That means in order to scare the green nerve, you need to fill the green section of your fright meter. Keep in mind that these red cans of primordial ooze are each worth five points. In order to proceed, collect the red cans of primordial ooze to fill the green section of your fright meter to scare the green nerve. Got it? Yes. There we go. So now we can scare this green nerve. Scare free, scare free, scare free, scare free, scare free. You made it. And the kid's down. Scare free, scare free, scare free, scare free, scare free, scare free. Now pay attention, okay? Each course on Scare Island can be completed with bronze, silver, and gold medals. To obtain the bronze medal, you must scare a total of five nerves. You've already scared two nerves. Now collect the primordial ooze and scare the remaining three nerves. After you obtain the bronze medal for the orientation, proceed to the next room. I doubt you'll make it, but good luck. Oh yeah, I will. So that's a yellow nerve. We can't scare it yet. <laughs> Not enough ooze. <laughs> There we go, we fill up a yellow. Yay! Now, when they're flashing lights, uh, flash blue on the top of their head, that means they're available for you to scare them. So, when the nerves flashing light turns blue when you're near them, it means that you are available to scare them. Because you're collecting enough blues for it. Disco! Disco monster! you must collect 10 Monsters, Inc. tokens. Collect all 10 tokens in this room to obtain the silver medal, then continue on to the next room. This must have spoken a bit too soon. Yeah. Amazing. 
obtain the gold medal from each course, you will need to scan the remaining three nerves in the area for a total of eight nerves per course. This can get a little tricky. These three nerves are red and require you to have a completely full fright meter. Collect the primordial ooze scattered throughout the room, then scan the remaining three nerves to complete the orientation with a gold medal. Okay, so let's go for the gold medal. Alright, so... And it's making fun of me. So, we need to have a completely full fright meter. So we need to collect all the promoter... Prom Primordial ooze. Ugh, tongue's twisting up here. Could have rolled right off my tongue. Collect all the ooze. And then we'll have a full fright meter. So now we can scare the red nerves. There we go. Look at him, Pex! <laughs> That's me. Blowing up a bag and, and then popping it. Oh, there it is. Congratulations, we're all really impressed. You've completed the monster orientation. One last thing. Scattered throughout Scare Island, you will find mailboxes. These contain important pieces of information and tips for you. To get the information out of them, just stand in front of one and press the square button. Good luck. Yep. Can't find what you're looking for? Press L2 or R2 to move the camera left or right. Press them then both at the same time to look through the eyes of a monster. And there's also bits of it that was from the movie. Monsters Inc. Simulation terminated for you. Excellent work, gentlemen. Now, in order to hone your skills so that you can become top scare producers, we're going to make things a bit more challenging. Oh, well. 
At least we made it this far. Hey! Your first destination is Urban Field. Not to worry now, just follow that path there, and you'll be fine. Remember, at Monsters Incorporated, we recognize that our strongest assets are you, our employees. Okay, so that was. His name is Mr. Waternoose? I think it is. Yeah. I really haven't played this game in a long time. So. This is Monster Academy. Here you can retry basic training, save your game, or access the movie viewer. Okay, this water. Do not jump. Yeah. And there is a mailbox to explain it. Careful not to fall in the water, or you'll lose one health. Look out for these signs. They'll tell you when the water is too deep. Yep, and I just fell right into it. Great. Let's explore. So there are three fields. This is the first one. There we go. Through. Go through this gate to enter the urban training field. Oh, ah. oh it's Randall. Are you ready to challenge me? Alright, so, there are three fields, so there is an urban, a desert, and an arctic. We haven't unlocked these three pursuits. Um. Tip. When scaring, be sure to look at the button on the right side of the screen. It will be your guide to scaring more difficult nerves. What's this one say? To try to unlock the monster en enhancements before going back to the same level for silver or gold medals. It will save you some time. Alright guys, I'm going to end this part here, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on part 2 of Monsters Inc. Scare, I Scare Island, I'm trying to pick my tongue up, so guys, I'll see you all next time for part 2 of Monsters Inc. Scare Island for the Playstation 2, thanks for watching, see you next time.